So, we just saw Evil Dead Rise. Guys. The cheese grater. A thing that I've always feared coming into a horror movie and being part of somebody suffering. And they did it. They, they did it. I don't know any other movie that's used a cheese grater like that. I don't want to know about them, to be honest. I think it's better if we don't. <laughs> However, that being said, I still think that you should go watch Evil Dead Rise because it is quite good, to be honest. I quite enjoyed it. Oh, don't mind that. I have with me Thumber Showed, who is, was here. We went and saw D, D the movie again. But let's talk about Evil Dead Rise. I liked it a lot. I thought it was really good. How come there's never been an Evil Dead movie that I haven't liked though? So that that is like a thing that you should consider. Um, I really liked it. I thought it was really fun. I think, hmm, I can't believe, okay, what do I want to say? Is this, this is no spoilers. I'm going to try to not spoil anything. I can't believe what happened with so many people. Mommy's with the maggots now. Uh, that died in that movie. I don't think it's a spoiler that people died because it is evil dead and so you're probably assuming there'll be death there was death but it was like i that movie here's what i liked about it it played with my mind i kept thinking oh this is probably what's gonna happen and then it was like oh you thought but no that's not what's gonna happen and it did that a lot and i think that's really cool because i've seen a lot of evil dead so you'd think I would know what to expect. And guess what, Evil Dead fans? You won't know what to expect. All you deadites out there are gonna have your minds blown. And also, maybe have other things go through your mind, as happens in this film. Um, yeah, so it was really enjoyable. As an Evil Dead fan, I really loved it. Uh, the performances are amazing in this as well. Holy moly, these performances are fantastic. I think one of my favorite um, performers in it, in terms of the performance that we got, is actually, um, I mean, both of the sisters are really good. Uh, Beth and Elle, they're both really awesome. And I also like how this movie even plays with like your expectations of like characters in horror movies where like these are two women that are kind of like that edgy like non-conventional alternative lady you know what i mean like with black nail polish and like tattoos and like alternative lifestyles it had that, but it was like, you know, where normally one sister is that and the other sister isn't that. These are both women that were like alternative, but they also felt pretty grounded. Everyone felt pretty grounded in this. And I really love that about the characterization. So I love both of the sisters, but I also really loved Cass, who's the youngest kid, I believe. I think her name was Cass. She was amazing. And there's just a, there's just a moment where uh, there's a shot of her, uh, can I say in the elevator? Is that a spoiler? Yeah, I don't think so. There's a shot of her in the elevator and she just looks out and the look on her eyes is just like, like just this acceptance of like, oh, like everything is going to absolute disaster mode like I, we're not getting out of this we're not gonna live we will not be living today there was just this look of acceptance in her eyes that i was like wow that is so perfect and she just nailed it so much of her performance was amazing and obviously there's a lot of terrifying things happening in this so i think it's really great when 
um, actors' reactions can help you to stay really grounded in the reality of horror. Even as someone that's made movies, I constantly, my instinct when I get scared is to try to come out of things by grounding through like, well, what's happening in this shot? And like, how would you line this up? And like, how are these effects taking place? That's where my mind goes and it helps me to escape the horror that my body is feeling. And this was very hard to do because I was very grounded in the story and um, who these characters were and what their like plight was. So it's hard for me to disconnect. So that is, I think, a testament to a good movie when it's harder for you to like step out into the, um, I guess, the industry perspective. Yes. Um, yeah. So that's kind of my thoughts on it. Uh, hmm. What else? Is there anything else I should be mentioning? The Necronomicon. The Necronomicon, yes. The Necronomicon. Necronomicon does make an appearance. And it's pretty spooky. I really liked actually the design of this Necronomicon. What did you think? You liked it? I loved all of the pages inside. I loved all of the art in this. Holy moly. It was very horrific, the way that they also displayed it. I think that was one of the things that I loved the most, was the way it was displayed. Uh, yeah, it was a really cool design to the Necronomicon. And... How about the rules, the, how the rules are established? how the rules are established without giving too much away mm, without giving too much away mm. yeah i liked how the rules were established because it felt organic in the universe but at the same time it fit really well with the story and the characters uh in terms of like who we had and how it kind of established even who they were so not only does it fit really well with the narrative, the world, um, but it also is kind of telling you a little bit more about the people and the way that it was told, if that makes sense. So it's tied, it ties in really beautifully to everything. Um, however, I feel like one of the rules was changed. <coughs> to my knowledge, I feel like one of the rules was changed. So, yeah, I don't know. If you know what was changed without us really saying, I don't want to spoil anything, uh, let's talk about that in the comments a little bit and what you thought about that change. If you noticed it, if you watched it and you're watching this already, or if you're going to watch this after, um, yeah, let me know what you think about that. Or if you noticed that, or if I'm crazy and wrong on this, maybe I'm misremembering. Hmm. I don't know. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I think that concludes this car review. So thanks for watching. Sorry I'm kind of blurry because it's dark. And have a good evening. Good luck trying to sleep after this movie. Bye. Stay nerdy. Me testing the audio. The video still looks like shit. Oh, Do you well. see this?